projects is the web page and Facebook. And the web page designer is Stuart, and he's from the Davis Lodge. He's an expert. That's what his uh, job is. So if you need a web page design, contact him and uh, work with him. We're going to go over the Grand Lodge web page because it's never been introduced to a group before. So if you have questions, slow us down, stop us, and ask. We're going to go through how to access it. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, as Jay said, my name is Stuart Savage. I'm from the Davis Lodge 169, uh, new vice grand. So it's very excited to be up here in front of this wonderful group of people. <laughs> and also, thank you for coming out. Just for being here, it shows that you really care about our order and care about uh, making it great and continue, continuing the trends that we're having towards making this a, a an organization to be proud of and to join and to do great things in our community. So with that, uh, a website is very important to lodges in general, businesses in general. For lodges, it does two things. One, it provides an excellent resource for lodge members. Um, and two, it opens the doors to your, of your lodge to the community. For example, uh, a website is a great place, a great repository for forms on the Grand Lodge website, which you can reach by going to uh, caioof.org. And if you go over to the Odd Fellows uh, resources and documents and links, pretty much everything that you need to uh, provide to the Grand Lodge can be found there. And if it's not, uh, Ray or Jay will gladly uh, put it up there for you to access it. Uh, it has things like annual reports, uh, grant information, uh, supplies, you name it, it's here. You can also find books on Odd Fellowship, written by our uh, Grand Master Dave Rosenberg, Peter Sellers, Edward Stallings. There's a, there's a great list of people here. Bring up the first journal. Uh, which one's that? This one here? It's on the journals. Oh, those are kind of big. They're slow to download. I tried looking at downloading when it takes a minute or two. So you can also get your uh, Grand Lodge journals. This is a great historical resource going all the way back to the 1800s. So if you're very uh, interested in the history of Odd Fellowship, you can always come here, learn what the Odd Fellowship was back in the 1800s, and see what it's become over the years. Uh, question, yes? Is there some way to make those journals searchable? So you can search for your lodge in a particular year or another lodge? Um, older journals, no, because they're scanned off print documents. And uh, unless you do a complex character recognition, it's a little difficult to get that done. Newer journals uh, are printed to PDF from Word documents, so they are searchable, or at least they should be. And if uh, they're not, we can uh, go through the process of making them searchable. Okay. It is available to download, so you can download it to a little disk of your own and then print individual pages. But he wanted them searchable. It's searching that's the process. When I go, when I choose searchable, it starts doing something else to put every page in order, and it might take hours. But if you want to try it online, go ahead. Can you put the, the, the Word version online? No. I scanned this with a big copy machine, and I that's what I did. If you're looking for it uh, yeah, uh, the question was, uh, are the uh, journals searchable? And that would be uh, te clear text searchable, and unfortunately, uh, they are not. And there's a question back here. The, the address is C-A-I-O-O-F dot org. Okay. All right. Uh, it has a, a list of guidelines. Um, everything you need to know about Odd Fellowship is here. Uh, past mailings, the Odd Fellow of Rebecca magazine. Uh, let's say that uh, you happen to misplace your Odd Fellows of Rebecca magazine. You can always come here and download a PDF copy and uh, read it that way. Um, pictures and videos and news. Uh, Jay does a fantastic job with his website and putting up information about events across California. Uh, I think you do national information as well. I'll put any event that's 
Uh, any event you want posted, I'll put up there. If you send me an email and you got a calendar event coming up, I'll put it on. It'll show up on the front page. There's another question. Any of that stuff on the printable? Absolutely. Yeah, you can print, print, print anything out on the website that, uh, that's available. Okay. If you can find something that you're having trouble printing, give me a call and I'll provide you a Word doc or something else up there. So here's some great pictures from the Rose Parade. Our uh, sovereign grandmaster, Danny Wood, and our uh, grandmaster, Dave Rosenberg, helping decorate floats. Is that fantastic? So uh, when it comes to the, the launch, this kind of gives us a face. Uh, it lets people know what we're about. So get pictures of, of Oddfellows having fun, uh, doing exciting things in your community, doing exciting things across the state. It's a great way to let people outside our order know what we do, and uh, if they're interested in joining, uh, they can see how hip, how cool we are, and they can also see that we do a lot of fun things, and we're not just a bunch of people sitting around a room uh, doing nothing. See if you can access IOF TV. That's what he's doing. We also have the IOF TV, which uh, Melvin Astrahan is doing. Uh, he's recording videos and puts them up here for for your viewing pleasure and also to let other people know what the question way out in the back. Question way in back, yes sir. Uh, the last part? Yeah, what's the possibility of having PDF members' pictures uploaded on the website and for us to view a pick lodges? Is that a possibility? Yeah, uh, if you have things that you want to post, photos and such that you want to post, uh, the Grand Lodge has a Facebook page, and we'll go over that in a second. Uh, one of the nice things about the Grand Lodge website is we just added Jay told me that, let me put it that way, uh, a lodge directory. And this, right now, it lists all the active lodges in California. So you can see that across the state, uh, this, this is a, a compressed view as you get closer, it starts showing all the lodges, but you can see that there's lodges around, the Cal around California that are open for business. And you can search for lodges, if you're looking at this on your phone, you can find lodges that are close to you. Say you're doing a tour of California and you want to stop by a lodge and see what our fellow brothers and sisters are doing. It, um, the program will know where you're at and show you lodges within a certain distance. So you're always welcome to drop in on a neighboring lodge and see what they're up to. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, this was um, adopted from another program that was going to be taken off the website. So we wanted to preserve it. If you look something up on a lodge and you want their meeting nights and meeting times, don't rely on that. There's another section that has all the lodge meeting times that I have things. Okay. Question? Yes, sir. Question? A number of years ago, I was organizing an event in San Francisco, and I needed to know when the other lodges met, who the note. Excuse me. I was organizing an event in San Francisco a number of years ago and I wanted to go around to talk to all the other lodges. I found it extremely difficult to find out when the lodges met, who the noble grand was so I could call them and say I want to come to your lodge. And one list I did have when I finally contacted somebody, he hadn't been the noble grand in 10 years or our lodge doesn't meet uh, once every week now, we meet once a month. So is that available on the website? <coughs> It's not on the website, but if you send an email to the office, I'll either take a little snapshot of that area on the per capita tax, or I'll send you the whole front page. Thank you. It depends on how much private information is on that front page. But yeah, certainly, if you're going to do something in your area, give me a list of the lodges, I'll scan them and I'll email them to you. Thank you very much. Okay. Worst case, worst case scenario, in the journal, in your lodge, every lodge should have a journal because you get one for free. There is a page, pages in the back that show every lodge and uh, where they meet and uh, that sort of information. So there's another access for you. Yes, sir. Is this educational seminar going to be on video on this website? No. Is this uh, video going to be on the Grand Lodge website? Well, oh, 
that's up to uh, Peter. Peter's the one who's. Would you like it to here. be on the website? Yes. Yeah. 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 I'll put it on IOFT. Oh, yes. 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 yes, but let's review it. Let's make sure we yeah, got a link to IOF TV. You'll have it on. <coughs> yep, yep, there's a link to the, on the on the homepage, on the sidebar. There's a link to the IOF TV station. Station. Where you go? Right there down in the blog roll right here. Facebook, you can put huge files up there. Yep. All right, and uh, one thing that uh, websites allow you to do is they allow you to showcase the events. So this is the Davis Lodge. So we have some cool events coming up. So we have them posted on our website for our members, for them to, to learn about it, also for the community. All these, all these things are open to the public and we invite the community to come in. So it has information here, so if you want to uh, click on these, it gives you information about the event, so people can always come back here and refer uh, to the information here. Uh, websites are also great because it's easy for odd fellows to say, oh yeah, we're having this event, go check out our website and give them the domain name, or give them a business card with your with the lodge address, you know, lodge URL on it, or web address on it. Super easy to get people to your, to your website. If you keep it updated and uh, showcase all your events, they get to see what you're doing and how active you are in the community. And I'll add links if they have websites of their own. Yep. So if you have information you want to share with the uh, Grand Lodge, just uh, send it to Jay and he can uh, uh, post that on the website. Also, one thing that we just set up for our lodge is we now can pay, uh, pay our membership dues online. It's really nice not having to look for a checkbook. And uh, the nice thing about this is uh, we had 30% of our members already use this to sign up. 20%, excuse me, 20% of our members use this to pay their dues. Uh, we charge a small convenience fee uh, to uh, take care of the cost of processing online, but uh, our members love it and it's super fast, super easy. Facebook. Facebook. And finally, our, uh, the Grand Lodge Facebook page. Down at the bottom on the lower left, there's a link to the Facebook page, and that will take you to the Grand Lodge Facebook page. It's easy to find. It's uh, facebook.com, Grand Lodge of California. You can go there directly if you want. You can post pictures and information here, events, uh, you name it. You can post it here. Uh, if it's inappropriate, it will be removed. So. Uh, Take advantage of electronic resources. It's a great way to reach out to the community, great way to connect with lodge members and showcase everything that our order is doing. And that pretty, that pretty much sums it up for me. Any questions out there before we, before we take off and go to the next slide? I see a guy back here. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, it normally has a search feature. Um, uh, the question was, uh, is there a search feature on our website? There is, but I was working on uh, this last week and I noticed it wasn't behaving properly, so I did it. Uh, as soon as I get that fixed, it will be back. And another question over here, sir. In this section where you can make payments uh, for your uh, membership, yeah. you also have an area where you can uh, choose maybe one of your causes in your lodge? Uh, we can. There are other lodges that do that. I believe the Hayward Lodge does that, and I found a lodge in uh, Fort Worth, Texas, that uh, you can take donations online. We haven't uh, started that piece, but we're just uh, testing the waters right now to see how comfortable our lodge members are with paying dues online and see how much we're responsive we get. And we also need to figure out uh, how to uh, keep track of all the money. And PayPal, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have an excellent reporting feature when you start doing multiple things at one time. Uh, there might be other uh, resources online that do a better job when you have, uh, let's say, donations and events all coming concurrently. So this is just an evaluation, but you can certainly take donations online. Uh, it's also key that you're a 501c3, so people can get attached right off on those donations. Anything else? See another hand over here, yes. Uh, can you, as a 501c8, can you take donations? You can take donations, but uh, they're generally, uh, I don't believe they're tax deductible uh, for uh, individual uh, donors or, or individual people. 
I believe people, uh, businesses can write them off as marketing and such, but that's a question for, uh, for your tax person. Could I, could yes, Jim. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, right here. Right here. Let me just respond to that question. Most of our lodges, in fact, all of our lodges, are 501c8 corporations. Holding companies like Hallboards tend to be 501c2 corporations. There's no reason that you cannot set up a separate 501c3 corporation uh, if you wish and go through the process. Uh, my lodge in Davis is a 501c8. Our, uh, Hall Board is a 501c2. We're in the process of setting up a separate 501c3 corporation so people can make donations and get the tax deductions for it. And uh, we also have a website, uh, or will have a website set up so that people can purchase tickets online. Uh, there are various entities like Eventbrite that will sell tickets for you online. Uh, there's no cost to the lodge. In fact, Janice uh, Rosenberg, the secretary of the lodge, is, is involved in setting that up. People can purchase tickets. They pay a little extra to Eventbrite, the lodge that gets the money when you sell tickets to events. We're going to try and go through some written questions that we have. One was the application. This is on the Grand Lodge webpage. I took that off, I think, Sovereign Grand Lodge's page. You can self-fill it in right on there on the page or save it to your computer and then print it. It's a little bit different, but it has the same type of information that you need for a new member. Yeah, so this is the Documents and Links page on the Grand Lodge website. So if you just scroll down to the membership page, the top one is the application. There's also a brochure and some additional membership information. Uh, this is in a PDF format. Yeah, I clicked the brochure so it might be in the full application. So this is the, the brochure that you have out in your lobbies uh, that you have to prospective members. This is the new one, right? And again, if you find that there's something you want to see there that's not there, give me a call, shoot me an email, and I'll put it up there. You talked about earlier about the Davis Lodge now allowing people to pay online for their dues. Yes, we can yeah. now pay online. Yeah, one behind her. Is your lodge being charge anything when you accept, I mean, for example, I pay you $55. Are you losing any money out of that $55 I paid you? So our dues are $55. We charge the members who pay online $57. That covers the processing fee from PayPal. Oh, okay. If you pay by check, you can still pay $55. Okay. I have one last short thing and maybe a question on everybody's mind. It certainly is every time around May. But as long as I'm the grand treasurer, I will not recommend a change in dues. So I would expect dues to remain at $45. Whatever your lodges add on, that's up to you. I'm not reducing your dues. The only problem with that is I understand it hasn't been uh, formally transacted. Someone's going to ask for a $5.50 rate. So I'll adjust something. Yeah. We'll try and work as best with that as we can. Right. So that's what's coming down the pipe. I have been given three questions. Why differentiate between males and females on the report? Within the last 15 years, Sovereign Grand Lodge allowed women to join the adults. And ever since that time, they wanted to find out how many brothers and how many sisters are adults. Consequently, that's why the male and female are on it. Do you have the annual report form in Excel format? No, it's in no word. Oh, it's in Excel, but it doesn't have formulas in it. The only thing that has formulas is page two and page three, which is a separate file, and it's a worksheet. Like I mentioned earlier, you can use it, fill in your numbers, and get all your calculations done, and then transfer that over to the report that needs to be sent to Grand Lodge. Don't forget, we need signatures on all of those reports being sent to uh, Grand Lodge. Are you going to get a Twitter tutorial account so we can follow you during your year? I'm not sure what it is they're talking about as far as following us all year, but, uh, you know. Anyway, I, if that's something that uh, 
Stuart can answer all, allow him to do that. Other than that, you can contact, contact us by email. We both have smart phones. Yeah. You can, if you have further questions, you can contact us by email. The Grand Lodge email is Grand Lodge at C A I O O F. That comes to both Jay and I. Thank you. If you have something for Jay, it's G T, as in Grand Treasure, at C A I O O F dot org. And mine is G S at C A I O O F dot org. Excuse me. So we will try and answer any questions or whatever, and like Jay said, comments, uh, things you want on the web page. We'll do our best to try and make our web page and our Facebook accessible for you folks and something that uh, you're happy with and you can be proud of and tell people, hey, this is what we do, this is who we are, check us out. Other than that, I'm done as far as, uh, unless there's any further questions. So thank you for your attention and uh, again, good luck with the annual reports. Uh, one last thing before I go, uh, we broached the subject of social media with using Facebook. There are all sorts of different social media resources out there that you can use. There's Facebook, uh, Twitter, Google+, Plus, Instagram. Uh, one of the things that uh, we have on the Davis Lodge is we have an Instagram feed integrated with one of our pages. So if you post uh, a photo to Instagram, it automatically shows up on our page. It's kind of like playing with fire sometimes because you don't know what you're going to get. But uh, for example, this was done with a phone. Uh, there's uh, our uh, noble grand, John Paul, uh, congratulating a bingo winner at our second Sunday bingo. Uh, this is from a trip uh, to the Morning Star Lodge. This is fantastic. Uh, there's me doing something. Uh, there, uh, there's me again at, a, at an Oakland A's game. Uh, there's our new neon sign at the Davis Lodge. Oh, uh, there's me winning the uh, director's award. Uh, there's our grand master. Nice picture. Oh, there's me winning another award, sorry. <laughs> um, there's a Duff smoking cigar. I'm going to tell you about it. Uh, and also, uh, we're, we're playing a little fast and loose. Here's some pictures of odd fellows around the world. Uh, so if, you, if you're on Instagram and you tag a photo with, uh, with the hashtag, uh, I think it was just odd fellows. Uh, it'll show up in the speed. So we get some weird stuff in here because there's a lot of odd fellow stuff. It's not really related to Odd Fellowship, but people like using the phrase Odd Fellows. So you can see what Odd Fellows around the world are doing. And, uh, and you can have the same kind of stuff on your websites. It's, it's really fun. It's really exciting. Uh, apparently someone liked the, the tattoo. There's Odd Fellow tattoo parlors all over the place. Odd Fellow dog collar. Awesome stuff. So if you ever have any questions about websites or if you need some support getting the website together, uh, if you go to the Grand Lodge website and go all the way down to the bottom, there's a link to my website or uh, my business website down there. You can always get in touch with me there. Uh, if you want a business card, stop by and say hi. Or if you just have some questions, come on over. Uh, I can point you on the right path or give you hand, whatever you need. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. We're getting awards for you.